Hello, I'm Cairo Braga from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and this is for the week one of Introduction to Music Production at Coursera.org. So I'm going to be talking about uh, the polar patterns for microphones. First, let me present you my microphone here. It's an condenser USB microphone. It means that I don't need an audio interface uh, between between him and my computer. So this specific microphone has four polar patterns. They are cardioid, omnidirectional, bidirectional and stereo. Let's start with basics. Okay, here you got the polar pattern selector. Right now you're hearing me in the cardioid um, polar pattern, which is the most commonly used polar pattern because it's uh, very focused on the subject. So uh, I'm talking on the front of the microphone here and it's capturing my voice really well. But if I turn the microphone, my voice becomes uh, distant because it only captures uh, the reverberations, the reflections of my voice because it cancels what uh, the sound that comes from behind the microphone. So only on the front of the microphone. Pay attention here for the frequency response for the cardioid. Okay, so it's really flat. Okay, really flat. Uh, almost like very flat, only a few variations along the frequency response of the microphone okay so i'm gonna change now to the omnidirectional so now it's on omnidirectional okay polar pattern setup so the, the omnidirectional means that it captures sound from every direction around the microphone so this time if i turn the microphone my voice will be captured equally okay because it's omnidirectional which means uh, in all directions so this one is very good for capturing a lot of people talking around the microphone or even capturing ambiences uh, field recordings and whatnot um, so here you can see okay the frequency re response for the omnidirectional polar pattern and notice that um, from around 200 Hertz and above the the frequency response becomes more sensitive uh, higher than the cardioid uh, polar pattern that's what they call uh, airiness okay so this polar pattern the omnidirectional gets an airish sound so uh, that's why it's very good for field recordings so now this is the bidirectional pattern okay the the concept is it records only on the front of the microphone and the back of the microphone canceling the sides of the microphone so uh, I'm gonna spin the mic so you can uh, listen so here I'm on the front here I'm on the side here I'm on the back and here I'm on the other side. So this one is very good for uh, interviews when we need two people talking in front of each other at the same time. So now we have uh, the stereo polar pattern. So the concept here is here on the front of the microphone, okay, I'm on the front of the microphone, right in the middle we get um, we got equal signs on both channels, left and right. I don't know which is left and which is right, okay? So, if I spin, make a half spin and a microphone, you can hear my voice only on one side, only one channel, okay? So, if I get to the other side, can you listen to my voice spinning in your ears? Yay! We go to the other side so you get my voice only on the other side and it cancels right here in the back as you can listen blah 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 okay and it cancels this is it i hope you enjoyed my explanations i hope it has enriched your knowledge and thank you. thanks for watching thanks for listening and i'll see you next time bye bye até mais adeus